In this video, we're going to look at one of the analytical techniques that we need to study at A-level, and it's called infrared spectroscopy. And basically, what infrared spectroscopy allows us to do is to identify bonds or functional groups in organic molecules. So I'm going to give you an explanation of how the process works I'm going to keep it very simple, but it's, it's all you need to know for the A-level syllabus. But if you take chemistry to a higher level at university, then it gets quite a bit more complicated than I'm going to describe in the video. So the first thing that we need to establish is that infrared radiation is a form of energy. It belongs to the electromagnetic spectrum, and it's at the low frequency end of that spectrum. So on the diagram there, you can see I've drawn three infrared waves. So they represent infrared radiation at slightly different frequencies. And I'm shining them on a methane molecule. Now, what's going to happen is the methane molecule is going to absorb some of this infrared radiation. And when the methane molecule does that, it makes the bonds in the molecule vibrate. Now, because these are all the same type of bond, they're all CH bonds, then they're going to absorb the same amount of energy. So, let's say it's the middle wave that's absorbed. So, this pocket of energy, the frequency of this energy is absorbed by the bonds and We'll have a look in a second at how that would look on the other side of the molecule. So you can see now I've drawn the emerging radiation, so after the methane molecule, and you can see that this middle frequency is missing now, and that's because the bonds in the methane molecule have absorbed the energy, and the energy is transferred into the molecule and it makes the bonds vibrate. I've added some values now to the frequencies. So this highest frequency radiation is 3300 to 3100. I'm not sure if you can see the units clearly there, but the units that we use to measure the frequency of infrared radiation are known as wave numbers and the units are centimetres to the minus one. I'll write that up here in a second. So essentially we can see that this middle frequency has been absorbed by the molecule and made the bonds vibrate. So this 3100 to 2800 um, pocket of energy isn't seen on the other side of the molecule because it's been absorbed. So the 3, 3 to 3, 1 and the 2, 8 to 2, 5 has been, isn't absorbed, sorry, and so passes straight through and emerges on the other side. So if we have something at this end to detect this radiation, then we can we can measure the radiation that is um, absorbed by the molecule. And I'll show you how when I show you the, um, what the spectra look like. So the detector is measuring the radiation that has passed through the molecule. In other words, it's not been absorbed. And so the 3300 to 3100 centimeters to the minus one is fully detected, so we'd see 100% of that. So 100% of this energy is transmitted through. And again, 2,800 to 2,500 centimetres to the minus one isn't absorbed by the molecule. And so that's transmitted all the way to the detector. So the detector would find, or would, sorry, would, would pick up 100% of that energy. The radiation that's been absorbed, that's 3,100 to 2,800, we 
well it looks as though none of that radiation has come through so if that was the case you would see zero percent of that energy it might be that a tiny amount gets through so we'll just sort of try a dotted line to represent not very much gets through and you might only see five percent ten percent of this energy actually making it to the detector because the molecule or the bonds in the molecule have absorbed that energy so as i've already said the frequency of infrared is measured in what we call wave numbers and the units of wave numbers are centimeters to the minus one so essentially this tells us how many waves there are per centimeter so 3300 waves per centimeter 2800 waves per centimeter so we're going to look now at what the spectrum for methane would look like um, I'm keeping it very very simple and I've deliberately chosen methane because we've only got one bond type to worry about okay so we've got two axes we've got a transmittance axis and that's measured in percent and we have the wave number axis and that's measured in centimeters to the minus one and you can see there I'm starting at about 4,000 wave numbers and I'm going down to, to zero so if you remember back to the previous slide these CH bonds are going to absorb energy in around about the 3100 mark to about the 2800 mark so energy above that frequency won't be absorbed and energy past that frequency or below that frequency won't be absorbed either and so the detector will detect virtually 100% of this and 100% of this and so we would see the across the top of the spectrum we'd see a trace following roughly the 100% line so I'll just put that in there and I've deliberately left a gap for the the area that we're interested in so remember the CH bonds are going to absorb this frequency of infrared radiation 3100 to about 2800 and so not 100% of that will be transmitted to the detector and so we see something like this in the spectrum so what that's saying is that in this region of energy it's not all getting to the detector that means something in the molecule is absorbing this energy and it's seen as a downward spike on the spectrum so you can see there that how much is that that's about 20 percent only gets 20 percent only gets to the detector as opposed to 100 percent of the other frequencies now obviously organic molecules are more complex than methane and so i've put on the board now a methanol molecule and you can see that methanol has CH bonds, C single bond O bonds, and OH bonds. So we've got three types of bonds there. And because these are different bonds, they're going to absorb different pockets of infrared radiation. So you can see now I've got much more um, wave numbers, so more waves shown on this side these will all be slightly different amounts of energy and you can see on this side now I've put some dotted lines going to the detector which means that the let's go for this one this wave number here not as much of that is getting to the detector and so something in the molecule must be absorbing that so that will be a bond and the energy is causing the bond to vibrate and then I've got this one here okay and I've kept the dotted line there from the methane molecule because 
we've got CH bonds, and so therefore we will see a spike in the in the infrared spectrum at this wave number. So on the screen now I've got a printout of the infrared spectrum of methanol and you can see more downward spikes than we had on the on the basic spectrum that I drew for methane. But I just want to point your attention to these ones here. You probably can't see that very clearly, or if at all, that that's the 3000 wave number mark. And you can see we've definitely got some activity here in this 3000 wave number mark, these ones here. So this will be due to the CH bonds absorbing this pocket of energy. We've got a significant absorption here. So something in the molecules absorbing energy in this region, and that's at about 3, 1, 2, 3, about 3, 350, 3,400 wave numbers. There's something going on here, and there's definitely something going on here, and that's at just over 1,000 wave numbers. So on the left-hand side now, I've got a table of the characteristic infrared absorptions in organic molecules. So we've got the different bond type, the kind of molecules you would see these bonds in, and the wave number regions for these bonds. So if we just quickly identify what we've seen so far, there's the CH bond, and you can see there that these typically absorb in the 2850 to 3100 wave number region. Now what kind of molecules, organic molecules, would have those bonds? Well, pretty much every single one. So in the infrared spectra of organic molecules, you should expect to see something going on in that 3000 wave number area. So if we remind ourselves, this it was methanol. Um, if we look at this absorption here, so that is at the 3350 region. So let's find that. Well, that fits in to this region here. 3300 to 2500 is a bit low, so it's definitely this one here. And we've got the alcohols or phenols. Well, this is an alcohol, so it's tying in with the evidence. What kind of bond absorbs at this wave number region? It's the OH bond. So this absorption here is due to the OH bond absorbing this amount of infrared radiation. We'll just look at one more bond and it's going to be this one here. So that's just between 1000 and 1100 wave numbers. So if you have a look at the table, hopefully you can see which bonds absorb there. And of course it's it's this one here, it's the C single bond O. So it's that bond there. And you can see this absorbs in this region 1000 to 1300. And so that ties in with the information on the chart. So if you were looking at this and you didn't know that it was methanol, so obviously there was nothing on there, all you could say really is that, well, I can tell that this molecule contains an OH bond because of this absorption here, and you would back that up with information from the data sheet. You could say, talk about the CH bonds, but remember, all organic molecules have got those, so. I personally wouldn't go for that. The other strong piece of evidence would be this one here. So we've got C sing, single bond O. So it's looking likely that this mystery molecule could be an alcohol.